Okay, so hopefully this one will be a quick one. Uh, we had some people on the last video on how to set up a dedicated server. They're having issues with their admin privileges inside the game. And no matter what they do, they can't actually get it to work. Uh, so I've rejigged my um, dedicated server. I've mocked up a uh, different server password and admin password and showing off all the places that I've actually tried to configure things. Uh, so we have the allowed cheater steam id .txt, which goes in the shooter game saved folder uh, prior to this i felt like it was in the shooter game folder but when i went and checked i found it in my saved but at any rate i've plugged that in there and as far as i'm aware that doesn't do anything for whitelisting but i do have it in there at least uh, for now and whether it actually affects anything i haven't even tested it but it's there uh, under the saved config window server you want to look in your game user settings and there are two tags under the server settings you want server password and server admin password so server password is what you use to log into the server and the admin password is what you use to enable your cheats so i've just given it an abc123 and an xyz456 in my launch commands i don't put the admin password i put the server password all right so we've got the server password as one of the tags in here abc123 what i did find is if i only had the server password in the game user settings it denied me access saying that you know there's something wrong you haven't set up a password but you still need one it was kind of weird so i've got it in both places and apparently this works for me so um let's launch it we'll jump in the game uh, well at least we'll have a look and see what the, the launch looks like actually all right so we get the launch we see our things fired off we've got the server password abc123 our server is kicking off we should get a little bit of detail in here okay it's just about started but we can see the server password abc123 so let's launch the game and we'll jump on in and we can actually see it uh happening in the flesh join game scar <coughs> Right, server's there, select it, join. We put in the server password, which was ABC123. Boom, it's gonna let me in. Right, it's uh, terrible lighting here. Does the gamma work? Oh, it does, nice. Right, we jump outside. It's quite dark, but that doesn't matter. We want to enable cheats. And we're going to put in the x y z four five six done we then can go cheat fly and we have enabled our admin mode and off we go we can do whatever we want all right and so at least for the guys who were actually commenting on the the dedicated video that i was doing before uh there was what jim jimmy rosenberg uh brandon schilling monkey puzzle uh el rondo leo <laughs> There's a few interesting names there. The tags are kind of weird at the moment on YouTube how they've actually set them up. I was very lucky to get at Scavig. I didn't have to worry about putting any numbers or anything silly in there. At any rate, um, yeah, you can easily add, add the admin commands, but when I say it's easy, it doesn't mean that the game is actually going to take it. Um, as has sort of been noted, I guess, with all the comments that I saw coming up, uh, it doesn't mean that the uh, admin commands will actually work. Some people, they've tried their hardest, they've run these sort of servers before, and it's just not working. But I thought I'd at least plug this together uh, so you can see the exact syntax that I was actually working with, and um, go from there. See if it works for you. If it doesn't, let me know. Because obviously there's uh, something vastly different between uh, installations, which um, it seems really weird that that would even be the thing, right? Surely the, the way the server files are set up is should be uh, the same regardless of what you're doing. Anyway, hope it helps, and catch you in the next one.